So today I'm going to show you how to add light boxes and the different types of light boxes you have. So what you want to do is go into your editor, log into you know log into your Wix account, go into your editor, and then on the left here, on this add button, click on that, and then on the bottom left it's going to say light box. Click on that, and then this comes up. So, and there's all sorts of different types of options you can do. So you can have a full screen. So the entire screen is this light box. A welcome jazzy, a welcome logo, which is basically a logo and some information, a video, another video with some uh, information. You can do subscription um, light boxes where they can join your mailing list. You can have it placed in the upper um, area, the right, the bottom, and in the middle. You can do promotions on the bottom, on the corner, in the center, another center, on the bottom, and another center. You can do contact light boxes in the center, on the right, in the middle, another middle one, and a middle with a map. So let's go through some of these. So when you go up to this one, let's click on this one. See the entire background is now this grayish color. And then um, it says here, make it pop, use light boxes to grab people's attention and get them to take action. Drag and drop anything anything to your light box to make it yours. Set it to pop up automatically or from any link on your site. Okay, so let's close that out. So in here, you can change this text to any color and format it to anything like you do normally inside the editor. So if you double click on it, you can change here to your, uh, one of your themes that you have already set that you're using already in the website. Um, to any of these headings or paragraphs or anything like that. You can also change the font choice if you just want to change that. Um, you can change the size. You can change the color. And then you can change it to bold, italic, and underline. You can add a link to it. You can uh, al uh, change the alignment and then all these things and they can add an effect an effect is um, happens behind the text so you can tell when I'm clicking these that it changes and you can change the spacing so the spacing is character spacing is the in between the letters here and um, character spacing and line spacing and line spacing is these, this up and down um, area see okay so let's get out of there you can change this text here as well this is paragraph text to anything you like just like I did just showed you and you can have a button here now you can also do more things than just what they have here you can click on this outside area and where it says set up overlay change overlay background and the settings so if you click on set up overlay you can change this to, um, clicking closes light box so I have it set to yes we want it to close once they click on anywhere outside of this light box area, which is this square here in the center. So anything outside of this square here, this, this line here, um, it'll close automatically when they click on it. So you can change the overlay background as well. And this is this overlay, which is in the very, very back. So right now it's set to this color, but you can also select a preset layout to change it to anything you like. You can also add an image, set it to an image. So if you click on image, I'm going to click on free from Wix and you can pick uh, any image. There's all these categories on the left hand side. You can pick any one that you like. Once you change the image, you can also click on the settings button and change the opacity the color behind the image here, you can change this color by clicking on it. You can change the color behind opacity, so how much it shows. 
you can um, click here for scale to fit original size or tile and the position of how you want the image to display okay now let's see here let's go back to this gear icon for settings um, that's the same thing okay and then let's see if you click on this area here where it's going to highlight this box here where the light box is you can set the trigger so if you click on set to trigger you can name your light box as well um, you can have it I think as many light boxes as you like so you can um, name them so they won't get confusing and then you can have it automatically display on the page or not so if you want to have a button on the site that and when they click on it then this appears you can certainly do that otherwise when it's set to yes it'll display automatically at a certain time level. So you can ch change the delay in seconds to when you want this to pop up on your site. You can also assign it which page it goes to. So if you click here on this home, these are all the pages you have, and you can click which pages it, it, it um, displays on. And then you can also have it to where, how does this light box close? Um, you can have a close button or an X button, and then of course when they click on the outside. So if you go up here to the settings, that's what we were just on. Okay, so if you go to here, layouts, layouts is where the positioning of this light box is going to show. So right now it's set to the center, but you can also move it to the bottom corner, the upper corner, anywhere you want, really. And you can also change the horizontal and off and the vertical offsets. So if I wanted to move it to the left or move it to the right, you can certainly do that. I'm gonna change it back to zero. Okay, now um, you can change the design of the light box background in here as well. And let's see, you can animate it. So let's say I want a, a bounce. So all these animations you can do um, to your light box to just make it a little bit more visual. So like if you do the bounce, you can customize it and you can change the bounce um, to soft and then the direction it's coming from and the duration is coming. So if you press this um, button here, it'll show you a preview of how that dis will display. Now on here, you can click Manage Light Boxes, and if you click that, it'll display your light boxes. We only have one made right now, so this is where it shows. If you want to create another one, you click Add Light Box to the very bottom, and then it'll take you back to that same menu. So here you can ch add a different one if you like. Um, if you want to do like the 50% off one, it has some dummy text here. You can certainly change that. And then do all the settings that I just showed you how to do. Now let's preview these. So if you go to preview here, after two seconds, it should see, it pops up. Welcome to my site. Um, they can either cl click on this X here or they can click anywhere else on the screen and it'll take them off. And then, um, so that's pretty much it. So that's how to install a light box. If you have any questions, um, write them in the comments, or if you would like to see additional videos, let me know. If you would like a website created, please contact me at cliftondesigns.com. I am a professional web designer for the last seven years, and I'm one of the top designers in the platform that I use. Um, I work with all budgets, and I also accept monthly payments up to six months with no interest. So this is my website, cliftondesigns.com. Uh, if you want me to help you create your website, please give me a call. My number's on my um, website as well. Thanks, and have a great day.